So once again, the manager has uh, sat in front of the media today for the press conference ahead of the Liverpool game tomorrow. Um, yet another injury to Newcastle United, or is it, you know, this is going to get the conspiracy theories going. Um, but let's have a look what Eddie Howe had to say ahead of the game. This is the press conference reaction. Hi everybody, I'm Paul, back again with another video today and this time it is the press conference reaction, as I said there, ahead of the Liverpool game tomorrow and uh, already a lot of conspiracy theorists going around about Federico Fernandes because this is what Eddie first had to say when he started the press conference. Paul Dummett is still out long term, although he's making good progress. We've lost Federico Fernandes through injury. We're not sure of the extent, uh, but he'll miss this game and the majority over the festive period now it doesn't say what the injury is which has got everybody thinking wow you know is it what's going on there we already know that there is a problem with Federico Fernandez uh certainly with one of the coaching staff um which happened you know a while ago now you know has he been the mole that's been leaking information all those uh rumors going around something definitely isn't right with Federico Fernandez and Newcastle United right now uh, we know that because, you know, he played a blinder against Norwich. He was then left out and, he, you know, come on as a late substitution against Burnley, I think it was. But look, something isn't right here. Now, why aren't they saying what the injury is for a start? You know, they could easily say, oh, he's got a groin strain, hamstring strain, whatever it may be. Um, but he hasn't come out and said it's in his press conference, which, you know, it's got a lot of people baffled what the situation is with uh, Federico Fernandez because, you know... We need him in the team. And, you know, is he injured or are they just saying that so they can just keep him out the side until January and then he's away, whatever the situation is? Um, I think it's a big, big shame. I really do. Uh, which pretty much confirms to us now that Lascelles will be starting against Liverpool, um, which isn't uh, exactly great. Uh, he then went on to say about the COVID-19 situation at the club. He says, we all got tested today in Touchwood. We'll all come through those uh, tests okay. Uh, we're following all the precautions uh, and procedures and protocols given to us by the uh, Premier League. And we've been happy with how we've managed the situation here. So no real um, news on any positive cases. And hopefully that's going to be the... The, the case moving forward that we don't have any positive uh, test results and uh, we get a full bill of health for the whole squad because the last thing we need, well, is it the last thing we need, but, um, you know, is, is another COVID issue. But a lot of people were hoping that maybe a couple of games over this uh, winter period would be called off, um, you know, in order for these very, very tough fixtures ahead to be uh, to be spread out, which, <laughs> is that a bad idea? I'm not, I'm not you know... We, it's it's not a bad thing when you think about it, is it? You know, these, these fixtures are very, very tough um, and maybe a break kind of would have done us a favour, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen uh, anytime soon. Uh, now, on the Leicester City game, he did have a bit to say. Uh, he said, we've reviewed the game, hopefully in the right way. Uh, we put the players straight in the sense of how we saw the game and what we need to do to improve. Uh, we're very honest in the areas we could have done better. There's no hiding away from that. So what I got from that little bit there is that things have been said about that game. Now, Eddie Howe obviously came out after the game. He's not going to slaughter his players in front of the cameras. He just isn't that kind of manager. And for me, that's a good thing. You know, but as long as they're going in behind closed doors and bollocking some people where the bollockings need to be done, because some of the performances on Sunday were just not good enough, were lacklustre and basically pathetic. So I'm hoping that the management team have gone in there and busted some asses, uh, you know, when they've gone back into training in order to put this put this team right and, and give us a, a little bit of a fighting chance. Uh, he went on to say, going away to any ground in the Premier League is difficult, but I think if you look at the pressure we faced as the away team, it was really minimal in the match. I think the first goal had a huge bearing on the game and the second goal came out of nothing. Now, what I pick up from that is we should have done a lot better, basically. We should have been on top, um, you know, given how uh, Leicester played. They weren't fantastic. Uh, yes, the penalty was a, a, a bit of a disappointment right before half time. But um, I've said in previous shows that I would have liked us to come out with a bit of fire in our bellies for the second half. We clearly didn't do that. You know, we were wrong done by, clearly, because of Madison's dive. However, you know, when that happens 
and you think you've been wrongly done by, you go out there in the second half and you try and put things right. And, and we didn't. We just went out with our heads down and sulked. And then the goals were just pathetic after that. After that, they really were. Um, you know, we were caught out. The second goal came out of nothing. It was poor defending. And I'm sure that is what Eddie Howe's getting at. And he's recognised that. He has to. Every fan in the ground recognised how bad it was. Uh, he then went on to say that probably put the players in a delicate mental state in that moment in the match. But I don't see why that should affect us going into what is a different game. Uh, it's a big challenge, but one we can hopefully rise to. Um... I mean, let's face it, guys. I don't think there's any single Newcastle United fan confident that we're going to get anything out of this Liverpool game. Um, it's For me, it's an opportunity for maybe Eddie Howe to play a couple of the uh, squad players to see how they perform. Take some of the big stars out of the firing line uh, and, and give the other players opportunities. You know, we've mentioned maybe taking St. Maximan out, putting Fraser in. Uh, on the other side, taking Almiron out and putting Murphy in. You know, give these guys an opportunity. Um, it'd be interesting to see what he does in midfield, to be honest, because I think we should go with a three in the midfield, pack the midfield out, because that's where Liverpool, they, they start their, you know, attacks from, you know, driving forward, they've got like Thiago, Henderson, those type of players, they get the ball rolling for Liverpool, and if we can, you know, eradicate that to a kind of degree, we might not get a thumping that everybody thinks we're going to get. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm sort of it's a pipe dream at the minute, but I think it's an opportunity for Eddie to maybe play a different formation, look at some different players. Um, you know, I've said all along, I think it's uh, I hate the word free hit, but when it comes to Liverpool away, when we're playing this badly, you know, our season is not going to depend on this result, it really isn't. Uh, if we can get something, magic, if we can even get a point, but. This isn't the kind of game that we will be looking at where we, you know, will affect our season, to be honest, apart from goal difference if we do go down uh, with, a, with a, you know, a huge defeat. Uh, now, on the Liverpool game, he says, there's so many different things you need to get right because the top teams find different ways of winning. Uh, also, bringing a threat is very important uh, that we can bring a challenge to them. Uh, I believe we have the players and a way of playing that can do that. So... You know, from that, I mean, does Eddie Howe have a, you know, a different plan to what he's played against Leicester and Burnley? Uh, that certainly seems to be the fact from what he's saying there. You know, the, the, a, a different uh, a challenge. Now, Liverpool, you know, will be looking at the Newcastle game and thinking, wow, you know, this is this is three points straight forward. And I think what Eddie Howe means there is maybe we can go and surprise them, trying some different tactics, maybe a different formation and just try and go at them a little bit. Because, you know, not many teams really drive at Liverpool, not many teams get the chance to drive at Liverpool, but they can be a little susceptible at times at the back. Um, you know, we know Van Dijk's a man mountain, but, you know, fullback wise, maybe Alexander Arnold can get out a bit. He's not the greatest defender in the world. So, you know... They are there's little gaps there, but whether we can find them or not, God only knows. Uh, but Eddie Howe seems pretty confident that what he's got planned uh, might do the trick. Uh, but I guess time will tell. Now on tomorrow's task, he says having a solid backline and solid defensive shape will be key. Uh, I think we need our organisation to be at the highest level. But I believe the other way we have players that can hurt them. Certainly on transitions, I think we're a threat. Um, that goes to say to me that he's obviously still going to play the big players. Um, you know, the, the, the transition never happened at Leicester. It, it just didn't. We, we, you know, Joe Litton, etc. were winning the ball. And, you know, St. Maximum was losing it all the time, trying to do too much. Uh, Miggy just didn't get into the game. Um, and, and that's why I'd like to see a couple of the squad players get an opportunity. Because I think Fraser can do a lot better than what we saw on Sunday from some of those players, and Jacob Murphy as well. Certainly, they're both capable of whipping balls into the box quickly, which is what Callum Wilson will thrive on. But, you know, when you've got you've got the likes of Van Dijk back there for Liverpool, it's going to be very difficult from the off for Callum Wilson to get any sniff of goal. But if we're putting crosses in, you, you just never know. And we've got to do that. We didn't do that against Leicester. We didn't do anything against Leicester. Uh, and we got punished in the highest possible way because, like I said, Leicester didn't play that well, yet they come out 4-0 winners because of our defensive mistakes and liabilities at the back. So that's a worry for me. Um, you know, we just don't seem... You know, he talks about organisation there, and that's one thing that we don't seem to be at the back is organised. You know, Lascelles does not organise that back four in any shape or form. He He's not an organiser and he's not a leader. And because he, you know, Fabian Scher is covering for him all the time, Fabian Scher is almost taking two centre back positions because he don't know where Lascelles is going to be. Lascelles is pushing up for offside when there's no chance of that happening. So 
I don't know. I mean, with Fernandez now injured, uh, this is a this is a bit of a problem for me that uh, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know who he's going to put back there. You know, if he goes to three defenders, then we've got Kieran Clark coming back in, which, oh, Jesus, it doesn't even bear thinking about. But, um, you know, as usual, Eddie's talking very, very positively, as you would expect. Uh, he's certainly not going to talk about anything um, nasty or, you know, words said behind the scenes. Eddie is just going to tell us how it is in front of the media, what his, you know, what he sees of the game ahead. Uh, you know, he's not big in Liverpool up, certainly, you know, compared to the previous manager, he's not bigging them up like uh, like he did. Um, he's trying to concentrate on Newcastle United again. And hopefully, you know, just hopefully, you never know. A Christmas miracle might happen, guys. It just might. You just never know. Um, I think we're all, you know, I'm going down there tomorrow and, and, and thinking, is it really worth going down to see us get a pump? And, but you just never know. You just never know. But there you go, guys. That was his, the press conference reaction. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the Fernandez situation for one and what you thought about what Eddie Howe had to say. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please do, as usual, hit that like button for me, guys. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing on the way to 7,000 now. So I'm hoping to hit that very soon. And with your help, I can. But in the meantime, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, if you're watching this on the Wednesday afternoon, then we will be back live at 8.30 tonight with the match preview with me and Dave. Uh, so until then, take care. Oh! <laughs>